Whatever happened to Superman? Whatever happened to Superman? Whatever happened to Superman? Mr. Anthony Flint is going to take us on a 1950s ride with blue Whatever happened to Superman? Whatever happened to Superman? Whatever happened to Superman? Whatever happened to Superman? The question that springs to mind, night upon night, time after time, when the red sludge won't budge after bursting from chemical factory reservoirs. Family of five, no longer alive, in a flipped up, burned out car. Tell me, it didn't cross your supersized television mind when the twin towers crumbled into dust. Where the hell was Superman? And why does it need to deflect the drone to a real terror target when it reduces a wedding party to weeping scraps of fresh flesh in Afghanistan? Whatever happened to Superman? Whatever happened to the Man of Steel? There were even those schmucks who claimed now he wasn't real. He was just invented to make us feel safe in that post-war, Cold War world. A sweaty fingers twitched on buttons while Hiroshima shadows burned themselves into the restless dreams of night-tossed adolescents. Superman was just a figment, some said. But you know, it makes no sense. We need the big baboo, the macho sentinel, the perfect gentle man. So his reality is relative to our need, like so many of the gods, down through the decades. So his existence is not against the odds. And what I'm saying anyway, is the knock-kneed squares who loved it most, are now the first to claim like crowing cocks in knowing boasts. I never believed in a man in tights myself. No, 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 not me. We don't need a cosmic being to live in the land of the free. And the paranoid amongst us say, What have happened to Superman? Was he disappeared as part of a CIA, FBI, Mafia plan? My perspective was altered when a little bat told me he'd got the gem about where the bitches went and where and round about when. Seems he flipped out after taking one too many snorts of red kryptonite. After picking up a little habit in Metropolis around 1947-48. He was weary with looking about the poor scare existentialist weight. And Benzedrine didn't do much for him in his salad sonic speed days. He said red was the only substance that could make his life unpredictable. Saved him from living up to the tag of incorruptible and indestructible. What the bat was telling me, Dick, was he, he was lost in a constant rescue routine. Perfect teeth, perfect hair, fine physique all sucked into the Adman's machine. Sub Superman, half fast imitations, adorned all the billboards around Times Square. He was once heard to bitch about it in Bigfoot's to Herbert Hunky, who he knew was a junkie. But he was finding it hard to really care. He wanted out of the super suit and his other newspaper man's skin. All the affluence and poverty sitting side by side was doing his super melanin. First time he scored Red K, he shape shifted into a proto beatific poet. He got to play crazy bongos at a weekend party in a village club called The Word, while some crazy cats leaped about with the sound of some guy on a sax called Bird. And when someone mentioned some asshole that caused a 20 car smash on Brooklyn Bridge, he just kept on cooking him a rhythm like he never heard, and soon it wasn't enough for him. Weekend vacation on a big down trip. He figured if he scored the right blend of red horn planet dust, he could bust out of his square alter ego and be someone really hip. And finally, Lois, the chick, he was really gone on man without the super morality trip that was constantly preventing him from getting super laid and satisfied. But he couldn't hide from the fact she was still square to her toes. He told old Bull 
man, you should soon change if you can master spontaneous prose. But man, he took too big a hit. Of nasty red care to achieve his simplistic goal. His new alter ego sprung up from a long locked up place in his black hole of a soul. It left him blazing and jumping and on fire with a now, now, now of unrestrained ecstasy. That's how Superman permanently became this gone dude called Neil Cassidy. And with no trace of memory of his super past life in his super fast mind, he went roaring back and forth across the country in stolen car after car. Find the medicine to heal his Kryptonian scars, which he kept jiving on in the need to rediscover supersonic speed, while he plunged his supermanliness into every willing part. He could find no relief to calm his fear of being caught and trapped in a human world where no one could fly into the hemisphere. If he slowed down for a minute, he was seized with a grievous fear. He was free as a bird, thought his good buddy Jack. But Neil became a slave to his super inclinations that would burst out in super rants and raves. Yes, yes, let's look for kicks, man, in Iowa, San Fran, New York, or Des Moines. Let's go to Denver City, shoot Super Bowl, lay all the pretty girls, and maybe the boys. He super danced to bebop and burn a hole in a dance floor. He swiveled his x-ray eyes. He saw things on peyote no one had ever seen before. Whatever happened to Superman? Superman. Whatever happened to Superman? Whatever happened to Superman?